Welcome back guys, Damco 1970. This is a Hook Road 12.2 high overland bed rack for full size trucks. That's right, I picked up the wrong one. My bed is 5 foot 1 inches. I have to make some adjustments, stick with me, we'll make this work. Unboxing the bed rack. First thing I reached for was the instructions. Read through them, fairly simple. Keep in mind, at this point I had no idea that this was a full size rack. After laying out the product on the bed, everything looks very well. I did find a few things that were wrong. You'll see them in the next clip. A lot of the parts were bent. I blame the shipper. It's a very heavy, heavy box. I believe they couldn't lift it and they were just rolling this around in their warehouse. So what I did was I used two blocks of wood to straighten them out. Works fairly well. This is the mounting surface that mounts to your rails and to the bed itself. They provide these little cushions that have a sticky part on the back. The majority of these mounting surfaces were just not proportionally correct and I believe the shipper may have again dropped the box so what I did was I placed them into a vise and I pushed them into the right angle for the mounting surface so here's where I found the problem again after reading the instructions and I seen full-size bed rack I thought to myself I need to fix this what's the solution I thought I need an angle grinder cutting wheel I asked around and one of my neighbors actually had a grinder with cutting wheels, so they came in clutch. Here, stock, that's a 5 inch cut in the metal, that comes directly from Hook Road. Here I cut 2 inches, I'll show you here, this is the cut section. Here is again the 5 inch section. Just to make the front half work. I'm pointing out the location where I'm actually going to cut next so that the back half sits on the rails correctly. Once I move that over, it should sit flush against these three nuts and bolts. That should give me enough clearance to actually have this sit correctly on the rails without it hanging or damaging my rails later on in the future. So here's the factory cut. As you can see with the measuring tape, it is exactly five inches. After doing the calculations, by cutting five inches on the other pieces, this will allow me to move the bed rack further away from the rails so that it gives me about an inch play on either side. So again, mindset is cut five inches, try to make it look factory, scribe them in. That way I can position the bed rack forward so that it's not sitting halfway off the track itself. Here you can see it's actually off about an inch. Well, here we go. Setting up is very important. I just want to show you that I have everything laid out. The tools are basic. The setup is basic. I have a ratchet wrench, an Allen wrenches, a very sharp screwdriver. This I'll use to scribe everything in cutting wheel, actually two cutting wheels, paint, Toyota is providing the electricity, a Snickers just in case you get hungry. This is my setup. I don't have a fancy garage. This is basic. So what I did on the other plates was I cut two inches on this side here giving me just enough space to be able to fit. So what I'm going to do is follow suit on the next one. What I want to do is cut to this point here. So again, cut the full length. That way I have a little bit more uh, adjustability to work with all the plates uh, and see where that takes us. So it'll be a total of six cuts. You always want to make sure that you are wearing your, um, you always want to make sure you're wearing your glasses. 
and I brought some tape just to make things easy, so we'll see where that takes us to. What I'm using is a small screwdriver as a scribe, holding the metal in place, and just using the other spot to actually give me a point of reference. It's kind of hard to see, but you can definitely feel the point of reference there. Do what works for you, okay? I'm no one. I'm just making videos. This is my truck. This is the way I want it. I made the mistake of purchasing a six foot one bed instead of the five foot one. And now I'm going and making the actual adjustments and corrections because I feel confident enough in making these adjustments and corrections. I've worked with metal before, it's fairly easy. You just have to make sure that you prepare for what you're working with and that you're safe. Again, do what you want, live your own life. I live mine, this is what I'm gonna do, and I'm happy with it. So I have to take all the uh, burrs down on both sides just to make sure it's cleaned up. You get the idea. We'll use some paint, touch up, and then we'll put it back together. When I see you next, I'll actually have a clean fitting bed rack. As an added bonus, <laughs> this is off, all off of Toyota power. I love my truck guys, I love my truck. I'm gonna go ahead and use the Black & Decker Dremel to take off all the burrs. Make sure you protect yourself at all times. clean after the cuts rack is on the rails, looks good, looks good here, so I can now slide the whole rack back half an inch so that the front is also on the uh, rails. So here we are, this is the finished product, she's a bit dirty. Uh, there's a few things that I would probably change on here. This was the two inch cut. I'll probably want to go back and do the five inch cut just to slide this rail back just a little bit more. The top looks clean. Again, I have room on the rails. The design is, is really cool. I, I like this style. So I like the style just so I can add roto packs. I'm gonna buy the eight gallon roto packs, two of them. I got a 16 gallon tank. That way if I do need to stop and I'm in between gas stations, I could just go ahead and take care of myself. Guys, I give you the bed rack. 
it fits a 5.1 Toyota Tacoma bed with a few adjustments. I hope you like this video. Subscribe, give me a thumbs up. I'll see you on the next one.